So, Arc Knights PvP. Never heard of that, did you? That's simply because this game mode doesn't exist yet and it's a community game mode that is made by me, I suppose. So I took the time to invent my own little new way of playing Arc Knights, which went through multiple testing, such as me going on Discord and trying a few players and then afterwards also pushing it into a live stream concept for people to watch to see what people feel about the gameplay. And I think it isn't, it isn't just myself, other content creators have tried playing with me and I think 25th Knight himself has also done it on one of his particular streams before. So. It is quite there. I think the game mode has been made very nicely. It may need improvements, but for now, I'm going to explain to you guys how do you play PvP in Arc Knights. So the first step is that you're playing PvP. There's no random matching thing in like the game for you to go and match with anyone. So go and find a friend or go on Discord server, find a player who's interested to play together with you. And then hop onto a Discord call. If you are unable to, you can always use a mute chat available in a server, like my server for instance. You can hop on in, description below, there's a the link. You can just use the mute chat, just type everything that you need out. So be in the same call together and then afterwards get ready to play. So the actual first game step to do is to draft your teams. Some of you may have heard the word drafting your teams in like mobile games, shooter games, team games, that sort of thing. So it's similar, but let's explain how it is for Arc Knights. So you guys decide between yourselves as to who will select a operator first. So let's say there's a player A and a player B. So player A gets to choose an operator first. He can choose anyone at all. So for instance, he chooses Tones. Then player B will get to choose the next operator, which he can choose A, for instance. You'll pass and you'll take turns to choose the operators. However, let's say if we continue with this sequence, player A continues to choose someone. He's unable to choose A Fiela again. Because the main point of this team drafting is that an operator can only appear once. So if let's say an operator is already taken by a particular player, the other player cannot choose the same operator anymore. It becomes a situation where at the very end of this drafting phase, you are going to see two different sets of 12 operators to play with. And these 12 operators will be fixed. So you'll be playing every single stage later on with the same set of 12 operators. So take the teams, let's get playing. So again, choose which player will select a level first. So let's say player A starts first, and he can choose any level at all. He can choose 718, he can choose H64, he can choose CC, maybe even Annihilation. Just any stage at all, so long as it's available when you guys are playing. Afterwards, with a level chosen, both of you will play the level. Then if one of you fail the level, then the person who wins, wins a point. Now that just sounds too simple, isn't it? Because most likely you're going to pick your best squad of 12 operators into a particular stage, and both of you are going to pass quite easily. So this is where this PvP game mode becomes especially fun. So for whoever who gets to choose a level first, he also gets to decide special conditions. So he can choose a condition that will disadvantage the players. So for instance, he can do things like ban a particular class, maybe a specialist or the snipers. He can choose things like, let's play the stage that has a boss and leave the boss as the last person killed. He can do very weird stuff, maybe face all operators backwards, use skill one only, no skills activated at all, no DP regeneration, no redeployment, only four operators, anything at all. Whatever conditions you want to set, it's up to you. And you can also put more than one conditions. However, the thing is, whatever conditions that's being set on the other player will also be set on the player himself. Both players will experience the disadvantage together. The point of this is that whenever the player is given a chance to select the level and conditions, he has to craft it in a way where it technically benefits him better than the other player while also maintaining fairness. What I mean by fairness is like this. For example, you play a condition where you ban specialists and then your opponent has three specialists and you only have one. Well, that just sounds unfair because your opponent will be left with nine operators and then you're left with 11. Now, it's up to your opponent to say whether he thinks it's fair. If he thinks it's not because there's less operators, then you two can negotiate such that you maybe you compensate by removing another two operators on your side, or you renegotiate for just a bit of a lighter penalty, for instance. But if your opponent thinks it's okay, then by all means you can play on. For instance, I once played with a particular player where I said I'll ban vanguards, and then he had two vanguards and I had one, and I had to ask him whether he's comfortable with that, which he said he's fine, because honestly the point wasn't me banning vanguards, rather I just didn't want both of us to have DP regeneration. There's all sorts of things, and negotiations have no limits. You can negotiate as much as you want, but of course, make sure that it's a very friendly negotiation. After all, this game is not actually supposed to be competitive. This game is just supposed to be fun. A way for you to kill time, a way for you to spend time with your friends, or to make new friends from playing the game mode in Discord servers. Now, most importantly, how do you win a point? So you win a point with the following conditions. If both of you beat the level, 
it will be a draw. So no one will win a point. If one of you beat the level and the other one leads, and the person who beat the level gets a point. If both of you lead, the person who lead less will win. But if both of you lead the same number, then it will both be a draw. No one gets a point. If both of you failed the level, then the person who defeated more enemies will get the point. And this makes it interesting because sometimes you can create a situation where it's very hard for both of you. Almost to the point where the conditions created will result in nobody beating the stage. But it becomes a game of who survives longer. And finally, if at any point a player wants to restart because he accidentally failed a condition, like for instance, deployment limit is set to 4, and then he accidentally deployed a 5th operator, it is up to both players to agree to allow the retry or not, which most of the time out of friendliness, you should at least allow like, a particular reattempt. Because sometimes we make accidents, or if we fail a stage, we feel like we can do it, we can beat it, and then we just want to give it another go. If let's say you are playing with an opponent that asks for a retry, and your opponent has to retry, and then you yourself fail as well. At least you can give yourself a free retry too. You get what I mean? But it's really up to the two of you. So if let's say you feel like there is no need for a retry, then so long as both of you agree, then yeah, there'll be a winner. And how do you win the game overall? I've reordered the way that I explained just to make this video more simple. Usually when I explain to people the first time face to face, that's something that I will say at the very start. At the very beginning, you're supposed to decide the number of points it takes to win. So you can set it such that it's first to 3 points, so the first player who gets 3 points becomes the winner, or you can play it such as it's best of 5, so the person who has the highest number of points by the end of 5 rounds becomes the winner. So if let's say both of you have been drawing, and then you end the round with a score of 2-1, then at least you have a winner where it's the person with 2 points. It's up to you how you want to set this point system up, but I have more details in the Word document for this game mode. Yes, that's right. There's a Word document for this game mode. If you want to know more about the rules, the Word document includes more stories as to why this game mode came about, more personal words from me, and even more details as to how the game mode works. So check the description. Link is right there. And that's pretty much it. Sounds simple enough that this is the entire way that you play the game mode. If you still don't understand, no worries. In the coming few videos over the next few weeks, it's not going to be a day's thing. I'm going to be continuously playing with content creators, this PvP game mode, because I think it's been especially fun with the initial people that I've played. I've tried this with my viewers, I've tried this with several content creators like Texas is my pillow, Tapdes, Ekagen, and there's even more people who are interested to try. So for whatever runs that I've done before, I'll be uploading them as video clips. And if there are full streams that I wish to put up, I'll put them in an archive channel for you to watch. So for every clip that I do, there'll be a link to the full stream for you to watch. And if any of those full streams become edited, instead of putting them in the archive, I'll put them on the main channel instead. If I edited it, it means I think it's a very exciting PvP match for you guys to watch the whole thing. So if you'd like to try it, please go ahead and try it freely with your friends after you understand how it works. If you want to know more about it, again, read the document in the comments, and then you can hop onto my Discord server to ask more about it. Or watch my streams, which will involve more PvP matches and also the upcoming YouTube videos that will show the exciting rounds. But for now, this is all that I'll cover for the PvP game mode. I hope you guys will have fun with it. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.